What up, YouTube? Knowledge is self-determination. So I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this um, this broadcast that Kerry Champion and Jamel Hill um, did when they uh, interviewed LeBron James. But um, this is very disturbing to me. This is very disturbing. Um, and it goes into what I've said before. Black people, stop worshiping and following and being so willing to call black entertainers your leaders. Just because these people make money doesn't mean that they are fit to lead the black community. There's some things that were said in this that I didn't like, that I didn't appreciate, you know. And this is a very this 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 shit is the definition of bait and switch. Because this entire this entire conversation, they use black talking points. They sound like the black media. They sound like people from from the soil. They say certain things that'll 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 grab black people's attention. And then in typical democratic shill or white supremacist shill uh, tactic, they bait and switch. They start tossing in the things that, that, that are anti-black, trying to get you to go along with the rhetoric, with the bullshit. Now, Jamel Hill is about to say something very interesting, and I want you guys to hear this. Right, but that's an inspiring story for yep. people. And as I often say uh, to people when discussing voting, if your vote didn't matter, why are they always trying to take it from you? That's a good point. If your vote didn't matter, why are they always trying to take it from you? You understand? But see, this is more of that that manipulating black people to vote shit. Because, yes, if your vote didn't count, why would they try to take it from you? They know that they need the black voters, especially the young black voters, to support the Democratic Party. And that's what this is all about. Them trying to bamboozle black people into supporting the Democratic Party. That's the whole point of her making that statement. And for all you ass wipes out there that will say this, our ancestors did not die for us to have the right to vote. Our ancestors died for us to have fucking freedom. Plain and simple. So she was right. If your vote didn't count, why would they try to take it from you? But you realize withholding your vote is also a political strategy as well. You realize that, right? That's all this is are show, white supremacist show tactics trying to shore up the black vote. But it's not working. I'm going to play it. I have some other information that I'm going to segue into. But I just want you to hear these words out of these people's mouths yourself. Um, speaking of three steps back, which you just mentioned a moment ago, so in 2016, uh, you did some campaigning for Hillary Clinton, I believe, in Ohio. Uh, do you plan on... He did some campaigning for Hillary Clinton. You heard her say it out of her mouth. He did some campaigning for Hillary Clinton. Well, let's take a look at Hillary Clinton and one of the people that she admired most on the planet. On top is Margaret Sanger. As most of you already are aware, Margaret Sanger is the is the person who started up the who who was behind the eugenics project or movement in the United States and the founder of Planned Parenthood. Quote, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. I admire Margaret Sanger enormously. I am really in awe of her. She admires someone who wants to eradicate and exterminate black people off of the planet. Take a look at this. Colored people are like weeds and need to be exterminated. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. That's all the things that she admires about Margaret Sanger. Her courage, her tenacity, her vision. Her vision to exterminate black people off of the planet. That's what Hillary Clinton admires. This is the type of person that Hillary Clinton admires. This is the type of person that she has modeled and molded herself after. Let's see. The most successful educational approach to the Negro is through a religious appeal. We don't want the word to get out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. Because, you know, the Bible tells you to do shit like, you know, slaves obey your masters, especially the cruel ones. Right? Let's see, some more gems from Margaret Sanger. Slaves, Latin, and Hebrew immigrants, I'm sorry, Slavs, 
pardon me, Slavs, Latin, and Hebrew immigrants are human weeds, a dead weight of human waste. Blacks, soldiers, and Jews are a menace to the race. She means the human race. See, she hated any non-white person. She hated, and it seems like she hated anybody who wasn't an Anglo-Saxon. Apparently, she hated non-white people. People who did not consider themselves to be white. She hated them. Let's see. What else? What other gems can we find from this racist scumbag? I won't take up too much time with this. I just want you guys to understand the mind of the person that Hillary Clinton says that she admires and is and is in awe of. Covertly invest into non-white areas. Invest in ghetto abortion clinics. Help to raise money for free abortions in primarily non-white areas. Perhaps abortion syndicates throughout North America that primarily operate in non-white areas and receive tech support should be promoted. She was an anti-black white supremacist racist who hated black people. And Hillary Clinton is in awe of her and admires her. Right? Now, remember, LeBron James supports, supported Hillary Clinton in 2016. He supported her. He campaigned for her any kind of campaigning for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? Uh, for sure. Um, I think what's known don't need to be said. Uh, <laughs> for sure. I think what's known doesn't need to be said. LeBron James is an enemy of black people. He is our enemy because he supports our enemy. This motherfucker ain't the king of shit. Many people may not like this. This video could get flagged. You know? Somebody might actually tell LeBron that I'm saying this. People might get angry about this, but who cares? Because I care about black people. I don't give a fuck about what some rich Negro sitting on top of a hill thinks about me putting this shit on blast. You said this shit out of your own mouth. What's understood doesn't need to be said. That you are a you are a white supremacist shill, just like the two bed winches that's grinning and smiling and grinning and cheesing all up in your fucking face they're white supremacist shills as well they're bootlicks you cannot trust the entertainment class of the black of black people you cannot trust the entertainment class of black America you cannot trust them there are exceptions and I'm not talking singling out the individual when I talk about the entertainment class except for this individual but in large you cannot trust them they are not your leaders he's going to support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris of course because your white paymasters have put you up to it of course you're going to follow them what's understood doesn't need to be said these two bootlicking bedwinching broads they both understand that shit that's why they're cheesing and grinning and smiling and chuckling with this clown. Understand this. There are black people who will who will constantly, you know, you know, make excuses or 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 try to dumb down their criticism of LeBron. Now I'm not talking bad about LeBron. I'm not saying anything negative about it. Man, fuck that shit. I'm saying what needs to be said. And if people like LeBron don't like it, then maybe you should stop saying dumb shit so the whole fucking world can hear it. If you really want black people. You want black people to think you're on our side so that you can lead us into a burning building. Kamala Harris hates black people. Professor Black Truth has exposed her time and time again. Go check out his channel. I'm not going to go into the whole history of everybody that he wants to support. Joe Biden, uh, another, another person that, that the Professor Black Truth has put on blast and given us an extensive account of his history. Jason Black as well has taken calls from Joe Biden, Kamala Harris supporters and chopped their heads off. In fact, he didn't even have to. They chopped their own heads off because they can't even intelligently defend their decision to support these two white supremacists. They can't even intel intelligently defend their position or even give you a reason why black people should follow them into the voting booth to vote for these two white supremacists. And LeBron James has just stated out of his own mouth 
that he supported Hillary Clinton and pretty much goes without saying that he's going to support the Democratic ticket. He's going to support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Listen to what this clown says next. We are in a time where <laughs> we are in a time change. Shut the fuck um, up. And, and hopefully, you know, obviously I don't know um, how, you know, the next season will begin for us and when we will restart this 2020-21 season as far as the NBA. But I plan to use my resources. Hopefully I can get out there and show my face again and, and be on stage like I was, um, you know, for Hillary. But we want change. Uh, and, and like I said, in order for change, it's all about leadership. And you know, leadership starts at the top. And, um, and and I just don't feel right now we have the right leadership for us. The soldiers out in the street right now are proving that wrong. If you want change, you step to the motherfucking white supremacists and make them change. Because that's what's happening right now. The, the, the soldiers out in the streets are making change. You want change. But let me ask you this. And LeBron James can feel free to answer this question if he likes. How the hell is, is changing one white supremacist for another? What exactly are you changing other than the physical presence of one person and replacing it with the physical presence of a completely different person? What exactly are you changing by ousting one overt white supremacist with another moderately overt white supremacist? And it's only moderate for Joe Biden because he's so old and stuck in his ways that... He can't be trusted not to say something stupidly white supremacist and overtly racist. He can't be trusted not to say something stupidly overtly white supremacist and racist. He can't be trusted. He's always going to put his white supremacist foot in his fucking mouth every time you let him go off the rails and speak freely. He's going to do it every time. If you don't vote for me, then you're not black. That's what he said when Charlemagne backed him into a corner. If you don't vote for me, then you're not black. That, that was his go-to. Are you fucking kidding me? With his record, look up Professor Black Truth's channel. And look for the videos where he has dismantled Kamala Harris and her record. Her disgusting record of targeting black people. Look up the videos where he's dismantled Joe Biden's disgusting record at targeting black people. They're white supremacists. And LeBron James supports them. You know the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend? Well, the friend of my enemy is my fucking enemy.